फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट ऑनरेबल स्पीकर आई राइज टू प्रजेंट द बजट फॉर द ईयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन इन मे टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी रिसीव्ड अ मैसिव मैंडेट टू फॉर्म द गवर्नमेंट अगेन विद रेन्यूड वीगर अंडर हिज लीडरशिप वी कमिट आवर सेल्स टू सर्व द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया विद ऑल ह्यूमिलिटी एंड डेडिकेशन पीपल ऑफ इंडिया हैव अनइक्वीवकली गिवन देयर वर्डिक्ट फॉर नोट जस्ट पोलिटिकल स्टेबिलिटी एंड ऑल्सो रीपोस्ड फेयर इन आवर इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसीज दिस इज द बजट टू बूस्ट देयर इनकम्स एंड एनहांस देयर परचेजिंग पावर ओनली थ्रू हायर ग्रोथ वी कैन अचीव दैट एंड हैव आवर यूथ गेनफुली and meaningfully employed let our businesses be innovative healthy and solvent with use of technology for today's youth born at the turn of the century for every member of scheduled caste and scheduled tribes who seek a better life for every woman wishing to stand up and get counted for every individual from the minority sections of our society this budget aims to have your aspirations and hopes addressed we wish to open up vistas for a vibrant and dynamic economy with a gentle breeze of new technology this vibrant india shall be a caring society which shall attend to its weak the old and the vulnerable among its citizens during 2014-19 our government brought in a paradigm shift in governance this shift was characterized by a twin focus fundamental structural reform and inclusive growth fundamentals of the economy are strong and that has ensured macroeconomic stability inflation has been well contained banks saw a thorough cleaning up of accumulated loans of the past decade and then they were recapitalized companies were provided an exit through the ibc several steps on the formalization of the economy were taken up of the structural reforms the goods and services tax has been the most historic in our country its chief architect is not with us today i pay homage to the visionary leader late shri arun jetli ji at the time of roll out of gst he had said and i quote it will be an india where the center and states will work harmoniously towards the common goal of shared prosperity the unanimity of the constitutional amendment and the consensus of the gst council highlights that india can rise above narrow politics for the nation's interest with the gst country's interest are strengthened true to this vision for the historic structural reform the goods and services tax has been gradually maturing into a tax that has integrated the country economically it has consolidated numerous taxes and cesses to one tax and facilitated formalization of economy it has resulted in the efficiency gains in logistic and transport sectors the turn around time for trucks has witnessed a substantial reduction to the tune of 20% due to abolition of check posts in gst the dreaded inspector raj has also vanished it has also led 
to significant benefits to MSME by way of enhanced threshold and composition limits. The effective tax incidence on almost every commodity came down substantially. Through several rate reductions, an annual benefit of Rs 1 lakh crore has been extended to consumers. It amounts to 10% reduction in overall tax incidence. An average household now saves about 4% on its monthly spends on account of reduced GST rates. During this phase of maturing, GST did face certain challenges. This was natural as transition was effecting. GST Council has been proactive in resolving issues during transition. In the last two years, we have added more than 60 lakh new taxpayers, a total of about 40 crore returns were filed, 800 crore invoices were uploaded, and 105 crore eway bills were generated. There has been extensive engagement with stakeholders. A simplified new return system is being introduced from April 1, 2020. A former Prime Minister had once voiced a concern that the fruits of the welfare schemes were not reaching the intended citizens, the common and deserving citizen was only receiving 15 paisa of every rupee sent for him. Guided by Sabka Saath, Sabka Vikas, Sabka Viswas, our government and our Prime Minister added manifold speed and scaled up the implementation of schemes and programs that directly benefited the poor and the disadvantaged. I wish to list out only a few as examples. One, welfare schemes with direct benefit transfer embedded in them. Two, sanitation and water as provision of basic needs and as a measure of preventive health care. Three, health care through Ayushman Bharat. Four, clean energy through Ujwala and solar power. 5. Financial Inclusion Credit Support, Insurance Protection to Vulnerable Sections and Pension Scheme. 6. Digital Penetration with Broadband and UPI. And 7. Affordable Housing for All through PMAY. The milestones achieved are unprecedented, globally recognized and benchmarked against international indices. This strategy changed the established order of a few individuals cornering most of the benefits and was appreciated by the people. Stop.